Hello everyone. Through this brief presentation I will try to give an insight over one of the most challenging subsystems of the HERA mission. I think this mission has been described a lot in the frame of this conference, so we'll just focus on its autonomous vision-based GNC subsystem. As you know, we have to get very close to a binary asteroid system in order to understand what was the effect of the impact and the crater that was generated by DART, the NASA mission. So we have to understand the composition of these bodies and we have to understand what is indeed was the effect of the kinetic impactor technique. We will fly the HERA spacecraft in hyperbolic arcs that are collision-free trajectories and one important challenge, one of the biggest challenges is to keep pointing towards the center of these bodies in order to keep acquiring uh, data and uh, uh, all the information that are needed to reconstruct the effect of the impact. In order to point exactly to the center of these bodies, uh, the system has to know what what is uh, its relative uh, position with respect to the bodies. And in order to do this, we have the autonomous vision-based GNC that through image processing techniques like the centroiding and the, the Lambertian sphere correlation is capable of pointing towards the center of the body during the entire duration of the arcs. But we have to get close, so close that the centroiding cannot be used anymore. So we had to develop other technologies like the feature-based navigation that will allow us to use images also when the asteroid is completely filling the field of view. And thanks to the very precise estimation, we will be able to perform autonomous correction maneuver that will allow the HERA spacecraft to gradually reduce the pericenter of the trajectories, getting closer and closer to the binary asteroid system. As you can see in these scenarios, we are using the centroiding based navigation and as soon as it cannot be used anymore, we switch towards the feature tracking based navigation. We can acquire then this precise information that uh, we can use in order to perform correction maneuver. And uh, this strategy will allow us to get as far as few hundred meters uh, of distance with respect to these bodies. So to get the most uh, detailed information and most detailed images over the real objective of this uh, mission, which is Didi Moon, or as it's called now, Dimorphos, as you can see now in the pictures. So this was a very brief talk. I hope you enjoyed it. And for whatever extra information, please feel free to contact me. Thank you very much.